today we're going to be doing a uh, Ulta Beauty Haul. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I just wanted to try and like test all the products that I got just so that I could tell you what my preferences are so that maybe if you had like similar facial features or similar tastes and makeup you'd know kind of what you would want to get. So I wound up spending like $120 and they wound up sending me a variety sampler that was, they said was like a $20 value. So I'll go ahead and start with everything I bought and then finish off with the gift that they gave me. So the first thing that I bought was a matte makeup, I mean a matte lipstick from NYX. It is in the shade Spirit. I really like it, just not on me. Uh, it's a little too, too red for a nude lipstick personally. I do like really bright red lipstick, but not in a nude. Um, then I also got two other lipsticks. These two are from Maybelline, I do believe, uh, in the shades Naked Coral and Raw Chocolate. I actually like these two a lot. I use them all the time. So this one kind of looks a little more of like a warm nude. It looks a little more red, but it's uh, it's really nice on occasion. Then my favorite out of the all three of those lipsticks was the Raw Chocolate. It's a really nice brown color. So that's all the lipsticks that I purchased. And then I got a few different eyeshadow palettes. Everybody keeps telling me that the ones that have the little magnets in them are like really cool. So I figured I'd like try and make my own. So I got the just Ulta brand magnetic palette and then bought shades to put in it. So let's see. I wound up getting a few. I didn't get enough to fill up the whole palette, but I wound up getting the shades called Late Night, Modern Times, Coffee Bean, Frozen, Whatevs, Master Plan, and Buzzword. Two of them came to me broken though, so I don't want to return them. I'm going to try and fix them, so maybe that'll be a DIY project I'll do later in the future. But these are, this is what it looks like with the makeups in it. And then the two shades that came broken are the Buzzword and the Master Plan. They're just kind of brown shades. So I'll try and fix those, but not using the rubbing alcohol. I know a lot of people uh, show the videos where they fix their makeup using rubbing alcohol, but my skin it gets dry really easily, so I can't really be putting that on my face. So then I also got the Bronx Colors Check and Mate little pocket set. It comes with um, like a liquid lid color and then two outer corner colors. I haven't really used this yet. Um, I tend to have a lot of favoritism. If I find one palette that I love, I'll just use the crap out of it. So I haven't quite gotten out of my little palette groove yet. But I, the one that I love the most out of all the palettes that I got is this one. It's a Lorlac, or Lorac Pro Matte Palette. I use it literally every day. Except for today. But. So these are the colors. Uh, it's got Bear, Latte, Cordura, Chocolate, Linen, Pink Mauve, Burgundy, and Jet Black. So these are what they all look like. I use this on my eyes and my brows. I know a lot of people like prefer to get like brow stuff and eye stuff separate, but the color chocolate looked really good on my eyebrows, so I just use it on that as well. Saved me a little bit of money so that I didn't have to like get separate products. And then another palette that I bought that I haven't used yet is the Revolutions Hashtag Slay palette. It even came with a little eye primer, so 
I'll go ahead and pull that out and show you. This is how big the little eye primer is. It's not very big. It won't last you for like a super long time if you like use this palette a lot. But it's a decent, decent size, I suppose. Um, and I don't remember how much everything was, so if any of you guys have like any questions or anything like that, just comment below and I can try and like show you the link to all this stuff. Or, you know, whatever. Then it came with this little sheet that says what all the colors are. So then there's a color that is hashtag slay, conquer, impress, destroy, queen, killed it, perfect, great, impress, and hit. And these are the colors. Oh, it also came with its own little brush. So. So that was nice. And then, so now on to the $20 gift that they sent with me. So it came in this bag, which is awesome, and then on the inside it's like pretty much a full face. It came with two little palettes, one of them is eyeshadow, I haven't used this one yet, but it came with its own little applicator brush as well, and it says that the colors are sunshine, plum drop, desire, say what, buzzword, and fearless. So. The buzzword one was actually one that I bought a bigger size in to go in my other palette that I had wanted, but that's the broken one. So I could still get to see like what that color looks like on me, which is really awesome. And then they also sent me a cheek palette that has colors that say warm, radiant diamond, and translucent. I use the radiant diamond one the most. I've actually like I know you can't really tell, but I've got it on right now. I don't have any other makeup on other than the Radiant Diamond. So Then it also came with this cute little mirror. It says Ulta and it matches the bag, which is super awesome. And it came with this little eyeliner. One side is colored plum and then the other side is blackout. I haven't used the plum side yet, but it looks... It looks kind of shimmery on the pencil, and then whenever I swatch it on my hand, it just looks brown. So I don't really see the point in it. Like, it looks shimmery and really purpley pigmented on the pen, but on my hand it does not. And then the blackout just looks black. So, you know, that was decent. And then I also received um, this lip primer, which I use all the time. It kind of, like, whenever I lick my lips, it tastes funny to me. But you can't really tell that you've got it on. It just goes on, like, clear, and then layers great. Something else that came with this is a little... Uh, eyeliner sharpener to go with your little eyeliner that they gave you. Super nifty. Oh, I use this eye primer all the time. It's a tinted eye primer and the color is satin blush. It's super pretty. It kind of reminds me of um, like a rose gold. So, and I'm totally in that little rose gold fad with everybody else. So, I love it. I, uh, didn't, whenever I first wore it, I wore it only by itself. I didn't put any other eyeshadow or anything like that. I just used the primer and then some mascara. So, but this is the primer. If you can see that, it's really shimmery. You can, like, it blends really easily as well. So. This is usually about how blended I make it if I just wear it by itself. So you can tell, like, you know, you can pack it on there. It feels really nice, like really creamy. So I would definitely suggest that. Uh, it came with, like, a little brush for the, like, the highlighters and bronzers and stuff that it came with. So that's pretty decent. It also came with this matte lip crown. The, I can't really pronounce the name. Soiree, I guess. If y'all can read that, my camera won't focus on it. <clears throat> okay, well, whatever. It's red. 
It's really pretty. I like this one as well. It's, um... It's a little more subdued than what I normally like my reds to be, but it's nice. Uh, I think it looks really well on my lips. I can just... I usually don't... I won't put a lot of this, especially if, like, I'm going to school or whatever. But, like, on a date or something, you know, pack it on there. Make it look really nice. But I think it looks really good on the skin. So, you know, all your own. Then they also came with a Color Rush lip gloss. That The shade's name is Olivia. It looks really pretty. I have not worn this yet. It The color, I think, is really nice. I just... I'm not big on lip gloss. I prefer lipstick. So here's that color. If you can see it. And it, it, the camera doesn't really do it justice. In the in the bottle there's like little glitters. You can't really you can't tell on the camera, but I like it a lot. It's very pretty. And then there's it also came with mascara. Which, for me, personally, is great because I've never really considered wearing mascara before until I bought this and this came with it. So I've gotten a liking to this. It's Ulta Beauty brand Maximum Lashes Defining and Lengthening Mascara. And the color of it is jet black. So, if, you know, if they sell this on their own and you like it, the applicator wand is really nice. Like I said, I'm not one for mascara, but, so, nothing too crazy, it's just a normal applicator. But I plan on using this and then recycling it for something else. I know there's a couple, like, charities and stuff, so, if you wind up getting mascara in, like, a gift set or whatever, definitely, like, use it and then donate it. I know that they say that, like, mascara wands are really great for, like, getting oil and stuff out of animals' fur. So, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> so, that's all. Um, I will try and leave a link below to a lot of the products. Uh, definitely check it out. I bought all of this on my little rewards card that I have. I definitely, like, definitely would suggest getting a rewards card. It pays off. They also sent me this little $5 off any Ulta Beauty collection purchase of $15 or more. So, you know, that's really cool. Awesome. Well, have a great rest of y'all's day. And hopefully I get to see y'all on my channel next time. Bye.